Iron Security Council will use now simultaneous translation. La parole est au docteur Papanek. Son discours sera traduit en simultané. Mr. President, permit me first of all to thank you and the members of the Security Council for permitting me to present the case of Czechoslovakia to you for your consideration. I admit that when I presented my letter to the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Trigvili, on March 10th last, I had hopes of being allowed to do so, although I requested no one to sponsor Free Czechoslovakia's cause. The initiative taken by the government of Chile and its distinguished permanent delegate to the United Nations, Ambassador Hernan Santa Cruz, was an act for which my people and I personally are and shall be grateful always. Nine years ago, almost to the day, the case of Czechoslovakia, occupied by force by Germany, was brought to the attention of the League of Nations. At that time, the protest made by President Benesh was cursorily dismissed as one presented by a private individual. Today, the Security Council of the United Nations is giving me the opportunity of a hearing. I am truly grateful for it and I wish now to express my appreciation also to the distinguished members of the Council, the representatives of Argentina and Canada, for proposing that I be heard. In my letter of March 10, 1948, addressed to the Secretary General, I requested the Security Council to investigate the communist coup in Czechoslovakia. In that letter, I wrote only generally of what had taken place and briefly of how it affected established Czechoslovak institutions and its people during the first days of the Azerpes rule. In order to understand the situation, it is necessary to trace back events which foreshadowed present developments. And Soviet troop movement in Austria also, near the southern boundary of Czechoslovakia. Here, let me quote in translation, where is a threat to peace, but particularly in that part of Europe where East meets West and where conflicts have begun to time and again. Terror has already been unleashed in its full fury in Czechoslovakia and will be greater than in the countries of Eastern Europe because it will be all the more difficult, if not impossible, for a truly democratic people to become accustomed to slavery. It's because of this terror that more and more people are fleeing from their homes, among them some of the best representatives of Czechoslovakia's political, economic and cultural leadership, but among them two dangerous agents of the new terroristic Prague regime. The successful coup in Czechoslovakia and conflict, the faith that I have in the United Nations. I believe that the United Nations cannot and must not fail the freedom-loving people of Czechoslovakia, we are now terrorized, silenced, and enslaved. The United Nations cannot and must not fail the rest of the freedom-loving people of Europe and the world whose freedom has been trampled or is now in peril. Thank you, Mr. President. I recognize the representative of 